A very beautiful Monday morning and welcome to the studios of the Meet 104.9 FM. Or where my name is Ife one and of course when you hear that song, yeah, because that of course is going to be our song for this program. When you hear that song, then you know that it's time for Law and Property with Prince Joel Esquire. Dr. Prince Joel Esquire, welcome to the studios, Dr. Prince Joel. Thank you, Ifi. Good morning uh, to you. Good morning to Emo Light. Mm. Good morning to Nigeria. Uh, how was your weekend? I hope your weekend was great. Fantastic. It was great. And yours? Mm, it was good. Fantastic. It was good. And I'm sure you were dreaming, you know, about uh, all things law and property because it's obvious that is what you, that is what you eat, that's what you drink. Mm. You know, law and property is, is more or less a part of you now. It is. It's been and it will always be. Mm, okay. Yes. So uh, today's episode is different. Uh, mm. And it's different because, you know, many times it's not just about talking and talking and talking, but then again, being sure that, you know, our listeners understand what it is we're talking about, what it is you are talking about as, you know, the expert in this field. Yeah. Now, today we will just be, you know, having a recap of all it is that uh, has been going on in this program so if you think you know all things uh with regards to uh, you know property real estate due diligence whatever it is well some nuggets that you might actually um here this morning would uh, shock you so over to you dr prince Rao. thank you if we uh th this morning is very different um, i just want to be very casual this morning so we will do a recap. Uh, let's look at what we've learned or what we've uh, discussed here in the last 10 weeks, there about. Yes. I remember very well when we started, uh, the first topic we discussed mm -hmm. was law governing real estate transaction in Emo states. Okay. And I remember saying that um, the law, the constitution itself, uh, guarantees us the right to own property anywhere in Nigeria. Hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, the, the provisions of the constitution. Okay. And I also remember talking about uh, the provisions of the Land Use Act, that the governor has a right uh, to seize your land, okay, over public interest. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I remember we discussed extensively and um, all that. I remember we also talked about um, uh, the uh, Imo State Property Edict, uh, which was the military regime. Okay. Yeah, yes. Those are all the things that were discussed in laws governing real estate transaction in Imo State. Mm -hmm. but week two, uh, we talked about documentations in real estate transactions. Very yeah. important. Yes, we talked about documentation, mm -hmm. we talked about deed of assignment, power of attorney, deed of power of attorney, we talked about contract of sale. Uh, we talked about the certificate of occupancy mm -hmm. and all that. And at the end of the day, uh, we said that it's important that uh, in any transaction you're doing concerning real estate, mm -hmm. ensure that the document is intact. Mm -hmm. I remember saying that um, uh, the provisions and the clauses provided in this document is also very, very key. Okay. Okay, yes. I talked about deed of uh, gifts. Deed of yeah, persons. and uh, with regards to deed of gift, you said if someone gives you a gift, a, uh, you know, a gift, uh, a property gift, yeah. it should actually be in your name. Okay, I think that's what we talked about. That was the next topic: co-ownership uh, of property between. Yeah, because I, I told wife. myself anyone that's going to give me <laughs> a gift in property, uh, yeah. it has to be my name. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so talk a whole lot about documentation. Mm -hmm. The reason why a lot of people have problems today is because uh, there are no. Um, uh, proper documentation proper documentation okay. on their transaction and mm -hmm. so uh, we're saying in that program that day that was the second week uh, that is need for you uh, to ensure that you have proper documentation when it comes to your real estate transaction of course okay. week three was quite interesting mm. it was a valentine week yeah remember, i remember, remember with remember the luxurious yeah, lunch and all that <laughs> yeah and we did yes yes i think uh, yes. it's one experience i will always remember mm -hmm. uh, we discussed about co-ownership of property between husband and wife and that topic was different you know if it because took tomorrow, i still receive calls from ladies from and you know talking about this sorry <laughs> to actually cut you remember that um the prince, uh, the husband to Queen Elizabeth, is, yes. uh, you know, he passed on, and you know, people were wondering why can't you call him king? 
Mm. And then some other person said, even if a woman owns a property, mm. she's a landlady. Does it mean her husband is a landlord? landlord. <laughs> you know, something like that. So yeah. when it comes to, you know, co-ownership, you just have to be very careful. You know? Very careful. No matter how sweet, how deep the love is, mm. okay, when it comes to property, anything can happen. You know? Are you saying the love goes away? <laughs> not that the love goes away, but sometimes, you know, when there are so many interests. The love is know, not blind anymore. Uh, yes, when the love begins to you see. Know, <laughs> see. You know, so the co ownership of it's one topic I will always remember and I wish I would do it again. Who knows? Um, you can. Um, afterwards, a lot of calls came in and calls are still coming in. Okay. Um, um, I, I know a lot of people who have called me giving one complaint or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, their husband owns a property somewhere, they are not aware the man is in the pot in his name, is mm. he right? Uh, one born called me that he, he entered his wife's room and saw a document that the wife bought a document in Lekki without him knowing and he was angry but the wife apologized and he told the wife no problem just change it in my day <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways, you know, the phone lines are already buzzing, so let's just officially open the phone lines. Yeah, so the number to call, yes, you know, to join the conversation yeah. is zero nine zero seven thousand one zero four nine. This is Law and Property, and today we are just going through over all the topics that we have treated on this program so far. Good morning. Hello. All right, do all to come us back if you can. This is Law and Property, and today we are going through all our previous topics, over eight of them that have been treated on Law and Property with Dr. Prince Joel Esquire. So in case you have any questions with regards to Law and Property, now is the time. Or in case there was a topic that you missed and you would want um, further clarification, yeah. you can also join the conversation either by calling us or sending us a WhatsApp message. And we are also live on Facebook. It's at the reach 104.9 FM. Go ahead, Doctor. Yeah, yeah. For those who also, some of these videos are online. Mm -hmm. Yes, and some could also reach out and ask for the audio version. Why not? We can we can fetch them out. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that that topic, it's one topic that um, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. you know, I've gotten calls, inquiries, mm -hmm. husband and wife fighting, filing divorce. Uh -huh. What do we do about the property we bought together? Okay. You know, that. you know, for me, when people call and and I'm able to reach out, I'm able to advise. It gives me, you know, so much joy. It is with my belly, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm able to reach out. I'm able to impact um, in life. Mm -hmm. Then week four, <laughs> week four was alternative dispute resolution. ADR. You know, yeah, ADR, mm -hmm. resolving this would be a ADR. You, you can't take this away. Mm -hmm. You know, this morning, Bolivia will be doing a site inspection over a similar thing. Uh, there's so much disputes. There's so much dispute in land. Uh, before we take it to the extreme, okay, it's important that we give um, uh, opportunity to to resolving them. It's okay. difficult that we can resolve them through mediation, mm -hmm. we can resolve them through arbitration. We can resolve them through negotiation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have been involved in these three, um, these three uh, types of um, uh, resolving issues. Through, in some cases, two communities are fighting. Okay, and they want to kill themselves over a piece of land. Mm. And here comes the developer, the investor, who say, "How much do you money? Mm. You gonna put this money together, make a pay on that." And I take over this land. It's not better than killing yourself or Way spending better. twenty or spending twenty years in in, in, in court. In court. Mm. And maybe I should even use this opportunity for those who really fight before they kill myself and all of that. No way up when I say this man and I collect the money. <laughs> when I collect the money, go solve the problem. Why fighting? Simple. Why killing yourself? Mm. Eh? This community they fight. This one they fight. The land, you know, go carry on for head, go, go. They, I mean, you know, that's just it. You know, it's not like you're going to actually, you know, carry that. I'm looking for such land to buy if you. Honestly. That you are, really? Yeah, I'm looking for such land that they are tired of fighting and they just want a buyer to just come and take over. The buyer go come and take over. Give them payment plan, put the signboard there, they're doing estate business now. So I guess um, after the call, after the show, <laughs> you just uh, reel out your numbers. But let's just move on now to yeah. the next So topic. the next one we remember we discussed week five, things to look out for before buying a land. There are a lot of things you need to look out for. Mm -hmm. You need to look out for your budget, financial budget. Okay. You need to look out for the location of the land, mm -hmm. you know, is it commercial, is it residential, okay. you need to make plans for your legal fee, agency mm -hmm. fee, a whole lot of things we discussed extensively on that. Week 6, we discussed on uh, week 6, hmm, rights of landlord and tenant in Nigeria. If you, 
That topic that was topic the bomb. Oh boy. Oh boy. That, <laughs> that topic was the bomb. Mm. You know, calls were coming in. And you know, literally, I, before now, I really don't have time for one room apartment matter, mm -hmm. two room apartment. But they are one of the people who are most affected. Exactly. It's either you're a landlord or you're a tenant. You know. Mm. You know, so that was an interesting one. Landlords were able to know their rights. I was getting calls from landlords. I was getting calls from tenants, mm -hmm. you know, and it was an eye-opener. Uh, the other topic that we also dealt with uh, week seven was how to prove ownership to land in Nigeria and Imo State in particular. Mm -hmm. And that was when we mentioned the five principles of owning a land, I mean, of proving ownership. Some of them, uh, long stay on the land, mm -hmm. their history, background of the land uh, documentation yeah, and all important. that yeah yeah for you to prove ownership of uh, any land you yeah. need to uh, put that into consideration it was an interesting one um week eight uh week eight we're we're off air week eight yeah we're yes. gonna make it yeah, we'll make week eight week nine was due diligence search in land transaction now due diligence search you cannot take it away uh, for you to successfully close a transaction mm -hmm. you must have done your due diligence due diligence uh, entails uh, knowing the background of the land the ownership how did the land uh, become uh, the people's own or okay. where they're selling it and mm -hmm. is the land registered um, uh, who are you dealing with are you dealing with representatives or you're dealing with the original owners of the land mm -hmm. um, what are other facts about the land and mm -hmm. the land being in court before okay. you know, all those um, funny issues so we go from due diligence search in the land transaction and um, week 10 we dealt on uh, fraudulent practices in real estate transaction mm -hmm. fraudulent practices in fact that one uh, baba because you discover that a lot of fraud a lot of scam mm -hmm. and uh, every day more companies are coming into Oweri, into Imo State, to okay. do real estate, mm. a lot of them are learning. You know that that's life, you're a learner. Mm. Once you're a learner, <laughs> you're, bound, you're bound to make mistakes. Yes. You know, yeah. So a lot of people are coming into this business for the first time, mm -hmm. and uh, their mistakes end up becoming fraud. Okay? Yes, there's what they call criminal misrepresentation. Okay, so when you misrepresent what you do not have or mm -hmm. own, um, it's a big problem. I think that was the last uh, we dealt. Yes. Yeah, well, but, you know, let's even go over it because I know that there are some topics now that I would really want to, you know, have better clarification about. And mm -hmm. I talked about, uh, you know, fraudulent practices and real estate transactions. And you have actually stayed in um, southwest Nigeria, Lagos particularly, mm -hmm. longer than you have in southeast Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now, for the while that you have been here, you know, what exactly are those practices that, you know, go on here in the southeast that, you know, is just the baba of them all? You know, in Lagos, I remember doing one of your shows, uh, you know, one of the shows here, you actually said there's this um, Omonile boys Omonile, yes. who resell a land resell to land. multiple mm -hmm. people. So mm -hmm. here in the East, what mm -hmm. is that, you know, the very The very common one in the East here is Omonile, uh, is uh, Omenana scam. Omenana, Omenana scam. yes. Now, Omenana is supposed to be a traditional thing, but you see they have monetized it. You understand? So you come, they call one big amount of money for you. Omenana is supposed to be bring you the cow okay they okay. kill they kill they kill the cow mm -hmm. and split the blood on the land and make the usual incantation prayers pray on the land basically mm. okay with the hot drink and the and the and the cow and okay. the milk. that is the real tradition mm -hmm. but what we see is that they monetize it and for me i call it scam because they'll collect that money they will share the money mm -hmm. okay and they will buy a goat or a cow of uh, of uh, how much the cow of 50,000 naira in most cases, they well, the buy. most important thing is really the blood, right? That's why it's traditional, it's customer, you know. Yeah, so I have a problem with that. Very common one is what you see agents they collect, uh, agents collecting, uh, what is it called? Agents collecting, uh, 5,000 naira to show you agency uh, fee, yeah, agent. it's not agency fee. They call it mobilization fee. So you drop 5k, they go show you one bad house. Yeah. You come out, they ask you for another money to show you another one. There's nothing wrong mobilizing agents who are looking for money, for, like, who are looking for property for you. Mm -hmm. But I have a problem when it has to do, when it has to do with, you know, making it a practice of extortion. Okay. Okay. Yes. They would deliberately go show you a house you don't go like. 
then they will collect that 5,000 naira from you. But then again, how do you think this issue can be resolved? Because I know a lot of people who have actually complained. You know, I actually have a colleague here, you know, at Richard Penn, who, who said she literally cried her eyes out when, you know, this uh, agent took her to a place mm -hmm. that she would never ever stay. He mm -hmm. actually took her there mm -hmm. and she would never stay there. Yes, but it's a of course, yes. 5, yeah, yeah. So do you think there should be any regulations in place? Yes, and that, that is what that is what the industry suffers. There there is no regulation mm -hmm. guiding real estate transaction. Every Tom Dick and Harry is a property agent. Every Tom Dick and Harry mm -hmm. is a property agent. Abroad you will not do that. For you to be at a property agent you must have been certified you know, by some uh, uh, um, agency or regulation, um, somebody, okay. or government body, that mm -hmm. to say that you've gone through the training, you're certified to be a property agent. Okay, but you know, is that is that is that um, obtainable here in Nigeria, where people would have to register? Of to course, there are schools, there are real estate schools. I run, I, I run a mentorship program. Okay. I run a mentorship. I'm a coach. Don't forget, mm -hmm. I'm not here on this program as a lawyer. I am a real estate investment coach. Mm. Now I, I coach people who want to invest in real estate and guide them. You know, and recently there is one business in real estate that is that is that is making so much way people don't know. Tell people us know it. it. That's short let. You know, why 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 keep your mansion, your duplex? Why keep your duplex? Mm -hmm. Lock it up. Mm. January to December is not generating any income. You, you are in Abuja, you're, you're, you're maintaining it with money there. Mm. Whereas this apartment can serve as a short lens to executive clients. Mm. You know, and I've keyed into it severally. Mm -hmm. And every state, I'm doing similar thing in, in Imo State here. And one of these days, we'll talk about it. And mm. we'll discuss about wheel here. Ah, you know, to, uh, well, <laughs> let me just open the phone lines again. 090 That's the number to call and the number to send your WhatsApp messages to. So in case you have questions with regards to real estate, any question at all, remember today is just, you know, uh, an open conversation. You know, we don't have a particular topic. We're just giving you a rundown of all the topics that we have treated so far. Now, back to your question, mm. Dr. Prince Joel Esquire. Mm. When you talk about wills in Nigeria, mm. you know, there's just this achaic mentality of people who think you want them dead mm -hmm. by all so, means mm. as soon as possible to take over mm. and you begin to wonder why people have that mentality mm. and that issue of will has actually left a lot of uh, widows you know in, in pain yeah, in yeah. we'll see them every day it's unfortunate but whether we like it or not the way you plan your life is the way your life will be if you fail to plan you have plan to fail I, a few days ago, I was going about where well, I was going with somebody, and I told the guy the need to have a really same real thing. You know, so you've been there everything day in first son hand and all of mm. that. I said, uh, yes. And that that's the mentality of the customary on that customary men. laws. Yes, the man, uh, the son takes it, and there are situations where the son is even a vagabond. Like, mm. you know, we see so, that happen so many times. The son step in, the son step in, and sells everything, you know. And uh, if you fail to plan, you have planned to fail. Mm. Whether not two children, three, plan for the day they find you, they don't see you. All those money in your account. Remember, if you die, the government takes ten percent of your wealth, of your as uh, your finances. And your, well, if you die without a will, yes, in the course really? of yes, in the course of processing your letter of administration. Okay. okay? Yes. If you don't leave will mm -hmm. for you to get letter of administration. Um, all your property that you own will be assessed and a certain percentage goes to the government. It's a practice in Lagos. So in case you didn't know this before, no, that's the truth. You know if you now. die, you get 100 billion for your account. And you don't have a will. And you don't have a will, okay? So it means that nobody can assess that account. Mm -hmm. you, you need a letter of administration to do that. One of the condition requirement for you or your 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 those you live behind. Yes, mm -hmm. the or representative to have access to it is that government will have access to about in Igbo state is about fifteen percent. In Lagos is about ten percent. Yes. So if people know So when you talk about fifteen, is it just a monetary or landed property or first and foremost, money in the account is fifteen percent. So the state government. To so the state government. That's for Imo State. That is Imo State. In Lagos is about ten percent. Now if they've increased, I can't really remember. Wow. In in assets, in properties and all that, they will evaluate the property. They mm. will evaluate the property. When they evaluate the property, a mm -hmm. certain percentage goes to the government. So 
if they acquire property, it's ignorance. Ignorance is a big problem. I say in the Bible. And it's not say, really an excuse, you the know. The Bible says, all that you get, get what? Get knowledge. Get understanding. You know, translation. Hey, new pers- new <laughs> <person> get, <laughs> call it, get understanding. Old person, you call it what? Get wisdom or get knowledge. Now, the truth is that these things are there. And mm-hmm. you don't know, you don't know. You get the point. So, mm-hmm. I will encourage people to please learn to live their will. Under the customary law, yes, your son is your immediate um, uh, successor. He mm. steps in and takes over uh, and um, manages your wealth and distributes it, you know, accordingly okay. and all that. Let's see, he pays you to have a will. Mm. You cannot go wrong. Especially when you work so hard. Mm. When you work so hard, mm-hmm. yes. Fraudulent practices in uh, emo states. It's in the, you see where they carry you to a, a land that does not belong to them. That's yeah. uh, just like the Omonile guys yes, in Lagos. Omonile also even worse. So uh, here, I think here, sir, it's even fair, okay, but we still see it, okay. Uh, Omonile, they say, once they sell the land to two persons, they will give lawyer money to wait for case. Wow. Okay, yes, yes. And lawyer is innocent. Lawyer does not know anything. You know, you know that it is clients that tell lies, and people say lawyers tell lies. It's a client that tells lies. Because when you come and meet me and say that you own this land, you have sold it. Somebody is here. You fail to disclose everything to your lawyer. Your lawyer will carry the brief there. When you reach court, you will not begin to see everything. So clients are the one who tell lies most often. Clients are the one who tells lies most often. often. Quote me. Zero nine zero seven thousand one zero four nine. Any questions with regards to law and property? Any questions with regards to real estate transactions? Now is the time to join the conversation by calling the numbers 0907001049. If you have properties that have been lying fallow and you haven't exactly done anything about them, how about you call the barrister to actually give you uh, more tips, more knowledge, more ideas with regards to that. Good morning. Sincere apologies. The network is really acted up this morning but nonetheless we are definitely going to continue to gain and garner knowledge good morning good morning welcome michael welcome please i would like to ask this question if you have like four male children and one for both the three are okay if you want to share your will, if you want, want to write your will as this, that one that is more stubborn comes second. And if you want to write your will, if you want to give him the list of your property, is there anything wrong about that? Okay, will that be all your question? Is that all your question? Okay, all right, over to you, Barrister. Yes. Um, Doctor, for yes, sure. no, Before I forget. I'm here as a coach, I'm not as a lawyer. Coach, yes, okay. Yes, yes, Apologies. Yes. Thank you. Yes, there's nothing wrong. Remember that will is the last wish of the deceased. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way you want your property to be shared. Okay. Uh, the way, yeah. Even if you call all of them together now and say, I'm giving you this, I'm giving you this, I'm giving you this. Whatever you choose to give that one, huh? it's personal, nothing wrong. It's even more dangerous where there is no will and you have a stubborn child. Mm. Because that stubborn child will fight all of them and threaten hell out of them. Mm. And in a situation like that, very wise people would want to put things in place to avoid them from you know, fighting. The worst that will happen if they find the father, they don't see the father, mm-hmm. is that the stubborn one will go to court. Okay? Or where he begins to threaten the lives of uh, the, or, other, or the other ones. The other mm-hmm. ones can also take legal action against that. Mm. So there is nothing wrong. It's how you wish. Now you get the property. How you wish to share your property. But it's important that you are guided by an expert, by a lawyer, so that you are very proportionate. Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, some people out of annoyance, they don't even give some bikini, some bikini, anything. You know, and when they, for a father to take that decision, mm-hmm. means that the child is indeed a stubborn child or a vagabond. Okay, let's take this last call before we call us a wrap. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Any the topic of um, where the government takes ten percent or fifteen percent of a real estate is guys. Is this when the money is inside the bank? Uh, when your money is like you become a person put money inside the bank account, like how do they have access to ten percent or fifteen percent? Okay, will okay. that be all? Or all right. 
Oh, I'll just give my number for yes, because it's the long explanation. Zero eight zero two zero five five zero four one zero. Zero eight zero two zero five five zero four one zero feel free to connect with us on any of the social media platform mm -hmm. uh, it's law and property with dr prince jewel now um the issue of uh, once you are processing your letter of administration is one of the requirements that you you see and it's done when they they, they, they deduct it from source okay mm -hmm. yeah they deduct it from source it's not that you will collect the money and you come and give them no and that money refers to the money that you cannot have access to if it's money that you can sign and collect, nobody will disturb you. You'll mm -hmm. be the assigner. But once you have to go through letter of administration, means that the person died without a will, mm -hmm. okay, the government will take that percentage. All right. Any amount. Okay. Final uh, message, and then we call it to wrap because our time is fast spent. This one says, sometimes I get confused how some Igbos are adopting the traditions of other tribes by sharing the father's landed properties or belongings with the female children of the same father. For me, they can get a portion to other wealth of their father, but not a landed property. I see this in Bayosa State, where I did my youth service, where the female children partake in their father's properties. The Igbos should please maintain our cultural heritage. Okay, Chiku Chiku from For me, Island it's discriminatory. State. Supreme Court has ruled on that matter. Mm -hmm. On no condition should you discriminate a female child from a male child. Simple. Okay? A female child should partake. It might not be of the same equal level, but mm -hmm. should partake in the sharing of their fathers. Uh, well, it does not take away the customary provision in Igbo land. Right. It is discriminatory. Supreme Court has ruled against it. Mm -hmm. And I share that view. All right. He shares that view. And that, of course, is where we'll call it a wrap. Just in case you want further, uh, you know, uh, a guidance with regards to um, real estate properties and the rest of them. Please um, can you read out your phone numbers so zero, you can zero, be rich. Zero eight zero uh, zero eight zero two zero five five zero four one zero. One more time, please. Zero eight zero two zero five five zero four one zero. Reach out to me via WhatsApp if you can call me. It's actually a hotline. All right. Thank you so very much for joining the conversation, Dr. Prince Joe Esquire on law and property today. Coming up at the top of the hour is the Celebrate With Me show on the Reach 104.9 FM. Worry, thank you so much for joining us. Are you finding it difficult to get desired properties across Nigeria that suit your budget? Or are you looking for a platform that provides...